Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby, and this is my daily broadcast, in case you're just joining me. If you haven't seen me before, a quick introduction of who I am. Um, my name is Barry Selby, as I've said already, and I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine, and lately a lot about heartbreak repair is part of my skill set, so I'm doing that a lot now. So welcome to my daily broadcast. This is my daily Facebook Live. Uh, the title of the overarching theme of this is called Matches from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, or Inspiring the Feminine Heart, and this is number 351. Yes, I've done a few of these. So thanks for being here, thanks for joining with me, and let's get into this topic. Um, this topic actually is inspired from a few different things. Um, and actually, a conversation I had last week with a friend of mine who's in Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui how to say that the right way. And this is a um, piece of that I'll talk about in a second. So the title of today's talk is um, Breaking Up is Hard to Do, especially when you don't move out or when you don't leave. And in case you've been through this yourself, this might have some relevance, and I want to make sure you get this point. When you're in the what I'm looking at, post-relationship experience, you might find yourself... Um, leaning back into that relationship, holding on. And then it may be not physical like that, but emotionally, energetically, mentally, thinking about, oh, if only it had been like it was, or if only they'd changed, or if only this, that, and the other. And that's one level. Another level is, and here's a dare. I dare you to look around your home, your, your housing, your environment, and notice anything that you have in there is from an ex-relationship. Maybe it was for gift. Maybe it was an engagement ring. Maybe it was a teddy bear, maybe it was a perfume, maybe it was a keepsake, something like that. If you have anything in your apartment, your home, your house, that is like that from a past relationship, that is one that you wish to be complete with, get rid of it. Period. Get rid of it. This is one of those things that is so... Um, what's the word looking for? In, inane? No, it's not the right word. It's so innocuous, is probably a way of putting it, yet it's so much more than that. I did it myself once, so I know what it, it, I know the feeling like, but the reality is what happens is if you, can, if, you t if you hold on to all these past memorabilia and relationship things, pictures of when you were together, um, even on social media, you might want to think about any picture of your ex that you've got together. You may want to think about removing them, putting them away, deleting them, whatever that is for you. Because putting your past relationship in your awareness is holding on to the past experience and what it does it puts your energy that you want to put forward into a new relationship back in the old one and if you're looking for a new relationship it's hard to do that when you're just stuck somewhere else i'm trusting it's making sense it's very simple really yet most of us still do it we still have this what if um tape running in our head or maybe a yearning in our heart for that past relationship or a box full of stuff in our, our house, which is memory from the past relationship, that's still there. It doesn't serve you. Unless you want to stay stuck in your old relationship. Let me rephrase that. If you like staying attached to your past relationship and you don't want to go forward in a new relationship, then hold on to that stuff. Seriously. That's the choice. But if you really want to move forward in a relationship and have what you really want in love and life and you're really done with your past relationship, then do the steps, to, or take the steps to complete with that once and for all. It's absolutely fundamental. And this is really a, this is like an a um, like a, a step like a one and two three step type thing. This is not the deep stuff that I go into. It's a very surface stuff, but it can be transformational because so many people, maybe not you, but somebody you know, is um, heavily invested in attachment to old relationships. Now, if you look around your your home and you see memorabilia attachments, pictures, things like that from your last three relationships or five relationships. You need some serious help. <laughs> First of which is you want to go give stuff to the goodwill, get rid of it, and old pictures to get rid of those, delete them. You may want to do a ceremonial, ceremonial burning even. Now, one thing. If you have past relationships that were very loving and you completed in a very graceful and joyful way, if you want to hold on to some of the pieces of that, you can do that. But the main thing is, and this is the piece I want to get to, is when you have past relationships that ended badly and you're holding on to certain things. Like Now, this is another one. If, you are, if you're a woman, for example and you kept the engagement ring of when you were together, and you called on to it out of revenge, 
that absolutely will not help you because your energy tied into that is negative, limiting, and dysfunctional. I think that's clear. If you were given like some knickknack or something from a past relationship, that isn't that valuable. But you still have it there. And if that past relationship that you're tied to with that is um, less than inspiring, that maybe you've got some past lingering hurt from, that energy is tied into that, part, that gift, that item, that memorabilia item. If you don't want to have that happen, you need to get rid of those items. Because what they're doing is holding you, on to, uh, holding you hostage to your past relationship and the energy of that past relationship. So things are making sense. I appreciate the thumbs up, by the way. So if you are someone who is wondering why it's hard to get a new relationship and you have this going on, you actually haven't moved on, you haven't let go, you haven't leave, left, left the home, you haven't actually disengaged from all that stuff from the past, this could be the reason why. It's fundamental. Now, I'm talking about the physical stuff, memorabilia, but I'm also talking about the mental and the emotional pieces that go with it because it's not just a doll or a teddy bear or an engagement ring. It's a whole stack of emotional baggage and mental beliefs that go with it. And that's the stuff that's really in the way of you getting what you want. So, I'm just thinking of anything else. This is actually a very, like, lasered um, talk, and it's not a very short one, actually, today. But I'm just thinking of anything else I want to talk about this. Give me a second as I review. Physical stuff, memorabilia, knickknacks, revenge. Yeah, we're talking about revenge, kind of. I'm just checking to see if anything else in that needs to be described. I think that's really it. Unless there's something else. There's one thing trying to come through. Hang on a second. It's, I can feel it pushing through. Let's see where it goes. By the way, if you watch my broadcast before, you know this happens. My mind does get this. I get caught up in a flow, and then it's like I have to open up space for another piece to come through. And so sometimes these talks aren't... Well, these talks are never scripted, never planned, and they're not just what I'm thinking about. It's like stuff comes through when they get going. So if you watch my broadcast, you can always watch that for entertainment value. Um, there was one piece. There was one more piece. Let me see what it was. I feel it coming through. Well, as an add-on add -on piece to the things that are memorabilia, if you have clothing items, those things especially because you put them close to your body need to be gotten rid of because those things are going to be carrying the energy of the past relationship that's negative, limiting, and upsetting, and you're wearing it. Not cool. It's time to get rid of it. So jewelry especially, those things, let those things go. It's a big piece. Um, and... Let me just do let me, let me do one quick recap so that I can get caught up and if anything comes through, it does. If not, I'll sign off. So, as I said at the beginning, this talk's basically about post-breakup um, attachments, post-breakup um, possessions that may be in the way of you getting what you want. If you're someone who is basically looking for love and getting what you want in a relationship, but you're feeling a little bit um, stymied and stuck, this could be one of the reasons why. If you've still got possessions from your past relationship, if you're still... Here's another one. That... Ah, okay, there we go. I knew there was one piece trying to get through. If you have lived together with your ex and there's a bed that you still have that you live, slept on together, not a good idea. You do not want to keep the bed from your past relationship. I know it sounds annoying because it's a lot of investment, but your next relationship won't work with that bed still there. It's going to get really messed up energetically. So... Much as I said about um, knickknacks and engagement rings and clothing and other items that you got from your partner from extra or past relationship, that bed that you shared together doesn't matter who bought it. If you're sleeping on that bed still after that relationship is over, you're stuck energetically in that past relationship. You absolutely must, must divest yourself of that bed if you want to have a healthy relationship going forward of a new new relationship. This is part. This is part of us about feng, feng shui. A friend of mine I was talking with is about who's back in Florida now. But she dropped the idea on me when I was talking, and I said, yeah, that's part of what I talk about in my work, but I hadn't talked about it here on Facebook Live, so I thought, better talk about it. So if you're looking for love and you're not getting what you want, this could be part of the challenge. And anything that is reminding you of your past relationships is in the way of you getting what you want. So, okay, this is an option comes up. Some things, some things, if you're clean with energetically, you might even go ahead and like smudge them, you know, use like sage and smudge those items. Can be kept, but don't use that as an excuse, please. If it's something that you're really still attached to, that you still remember your past intimacy and relationship, like the bed especially is one of those big ones, it's got to be get rid of. Clean out. Not just change the sheets, but get rid of the whole thing. 
because the energy of your relationship that's now done is still there in your house. is isn't going to help you get what you want. I think that made the point. You know, I think the bed's the big one that was when you come through. That's the, um, the big piece. So I think I made the point. If you're stuck in the area of looking for love because you're not getting what you want, that's another piece to look at is your past attachments, physical property attachments, that are getting in the way of what you want. Now, okay, this one came up, so I'm going to throw this one out there just because it's the last one, hopefully the last one, because I'm just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, I started with, a wedding, with knickknacks, then a ring, then a bed. Now the next thing is the house. If you're in a, in a house where the two of you were married or had bought a house together, you need to do some serious cleansing of the energy. This, I'm not saying you need to get rid of the house because that's a whole other conversation, or other conversation rather. But if you're in a house that you were in together with your partner and they moved out and left the house for you, um, doing a real clear energy healing. Get someone who knows this stuff really well. Um, you can smudge it, which is what, again, what I said before, like with clothing, you can do it with the house too. But reality is find someone who knows Feng Shui, definitely. I can recommend my friend, she's in Florida. Another friend of mine that lives in LA we can recommend as well. But do things to change the energy to clear out that old relationship energetics so you can be free. It sounds so woo-woo stuff maybe, but I guarantee you this will change your quality of relationship you attract. It will change your ability to attract relationship into a whole other level, and it will free you up from the past one by clearing the energy out. Okay, that's the last one, I think. <laughs> I'm just going through which is the next one after that. So now you've got the whole spectrum from knick-knack to house. Um... You get the point, though. This is about being attached to your past relationship through the things you still have that remind you of that relationship. And until you divest yourself of those, including the pictures, including social media, it's going to make it hard for you to move on forward and where you want to go. I think that makes the point. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Um, that one was an interesting. It felt like I was, I was pushing some pretty heavy pieces out on that one. But if this makes sense to you, I hope it does. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below, and I'll answer them in a sign-off. If you are someone who's stuck in the area of love and relationships, you want some help, or you're not getting what you want in the area of love and relationships, this is my gift to you. I offer a daily, every day or rather, I offer a complimentary clarity conversation. It's called a, it's called a discovery session, basically. Go to my website, which is Barry Selby, my name, dot com, forward slash chat, or you go to barryselby.com and click on the let's chat, either one, on my website. It takes place where you can sign up for a discovery session and we can talk. It's my gift to you, a 30-minute conversation. Give you some guidance, clarity, and see if you want to work together. If you have questions about this topic, please put them below, and I'll do them when I sign off. And if you haven't seen my other broadcast, this is number 351. You can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also on my YouTube channel, because I put them on there as well, which is Barry Selby is the channel, a message for the masculine is the playlist. And also on my website, which again is barryselby.com, and you click on the video chat, video blog to watch them there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another talk. That'll be number 352. Take care of yourself. Actually, I'll be out, uh, that'll be interesting. Tomorrow I'm going to be at a, a couple of friends' birthday parties, so I may have to find some place to do that quietly. We'll see what happens. It may be chaos. Now you've been warned. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.